Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. So let's get started here. It's a cute one. Okay, and I'm only using Starry Sky Ink. I'm going to be using the Scotty Dog Punch. I have a scrap of gold foil. I've already previously die cut some of these little snowflakes out of it, three of them. Here's, I have a scrap of the in color 6x6 designer series paper. I have a 4 by 5 and a quarter inch piece of white, and then a thick white 5 and a half by 8 and a half scored and folded at 4 and a quarter. I'm going to be using um, a sentiment, well, I'm using these snowflakes, and I think for this card I'm going to change the sentiment. So I'm either going to do woof, 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 or may your days be furry and bright. And the bit large snowflake came out of Season of Chic. And then those little tiny gold ones are from the matching dies from Season of Chic, the uh, Chic dies. Now the sentiment on this card that I originally did came from Peaceful Moments. It's a very pretty sentiment, but I'm going to try a different one. Okay, so let's get started here. All right. Let's go ahead and um, do our stamping first. So we'll put all this aside. I'm going to open the Starry Sky ink. Okay, we're going to take this large snowflake from Season of Chic. I'm going to stamp it once. Right there. I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to stamp it again without re inking. And let's turn this over because I didn't get that center to stamp very well. So let's try it again. Stamp it there, stamp it again without re inking below it, and then go over here and stamp it again. So I'm getting three generation, three different colors from the one inking. Okay, now I'm going to take those three little snowflakes from the Scotty Dog one. And again, I'm going to stamp full on here. Let's see, overlapping this one a little bit. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to go down here. So it's kind of making a triangle there. Okay. I'm going to come in with the sentiment. I'm trying to decide, should I do... Let's do May Your Days Be Furry and Bright. Stamp that over this way. Down towards the bottom. Okay, so we can put the sink away. We're done with it. All right, now let's do our punchy. Oh, I forgot we need a piece of black, a scrap of black to stamp our sky dog with. Oh, I forgot that. I don't know. All right, so I've got a scrap of black to stamp my Scotty dog with. So I'm going to stamp him. And this is a thicker paper, so it's hard to stamp. Okay, and I have that scrap of the designer series paper, and I'm going to put it in here. I'm not going to worry about getting his feet, and I'm not going to worry about getting his tail. I just want it to go in far enough so that I get all of his neck. I'm going to punch that on a little bit straighter at the bottom. Okay, so I need this piece. It's going to go this way. There's my snips. Bring in my snips. 
where the tail is. I'm going to make sure I trim off that little bit of the tail. And where the neck is, I want it to go straight across there. Like that. Okay, so there's that piece. And this is going to be his coat. It's going to go right on top of him like that. So let's go ahead and glue that on. Use whatever designer series paper you want, or you could stamp that plaid one and use that. That would work too. That comes out very nice as well. Okay, now he's cute. Just like that, we would pop him up on a dimensional, and that's really cute. But I thought it needed a little bit of something, so I brought in the foil paper. Let me put it in, and I'm going to try to get this area here where his collar would be. So I'm just going to stamp that. I'll bring in this little piece. And then I'm going to make him a little collar for his coat. Cut there. Just cut a little rectangle. Okay, so it just it's a parallelogram because it's got a little bit of a wonkiness to it. And that'll go right there. It's not quite long enough on this side, but I think it'll work anyways. Let's try that again. I need a little bit more of his neck. Okay, so it's going to go this way. So I'm going to cut this part off. I'm just going to go straight across here like that. I mean, I don't want all of this here. So I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. Cut it a little bit shorter. I think this will work better. Yeah. It's not perfect, but I think it does the purpose. So we'll go ahead and glue that on. There's no right or wrong here. It's, we could probably glue a piece onto the paper first and then cut it out. That might be the easiest thing to do. So that's the collar of his coat. Let's flip him over and put some dimensionals on the back of him. And one on his head. And here. And here. This is really a very simple card, but it's cute. Okay, let's put him down here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and mount this to the front of our card base. Then we could pop this up. In fact, let's do that on this one. I have these dimensional bones. I'm going to go ahead and use those up. backings off. Hey Missy, stay down please. Come on, I need you to move please. Thank you. 
That was Missy, my female cat. Okay, so I'm going to center that up on the front of this card. And now we're going to bring in those little snowflakes. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of glue on the back of each one, just, see, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to make a visual triangle with those. Trying to avoid certain areas so that it doesn't look inappropriate. For instance, I wouldn't want to put one over here because it would look like he had an accident. Okay, there we go. There's our card we just made together. And here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.